ikalabing siyam na anibersaryo ng Star Talk, one of our wishes was finally granted. Ang kauna-unahang panayam together sa magkapatid na Lovey Po at Senador Grace Polia Manzares. Good afternoon, Ate Lovey and Ate Senator Grace. Pareho kami ate. Oh, man, yeah. Ano, yeah. Ako, ano ako they call uh, the Senator? Well, I, I call her Ate Grace. Ate Grace? <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is your first time together on TV, no? Yes. And thank you yes. so much for the trust. Yes. And for our anniversary. It's you. It's oh, you. you owe me. <laughs> I owe you a lot, actually. February 2004, napilita sa FEJ na aminin sa publiko ang pagkakaroon nito ng anak na babae sa dating actress at beauty queen na si Rowena Moran. Ang 15 anyos na dalagitang nag-aaral noon sa Angeles City ay nakilala sa pangalang Lovey Po. Kasunod nito, inamin din ang aktor na may anak siyang lalaki sa dating aktres na si Anna Marin, si Ronian Po. Bago ang magkasunod na pag-amin, ang tanging alam ng publiko ay iisa ang anak ni na FPJ at ni Susan Roses, si Mary Grace Po. Kailan niyo nalaman that you were uh, sisters? Ako ha, I don't know about you. Ako honestly, I found out only during the campaign of my dad. Yeah. I knew a long time ago, I think. I'm just not sure about what, what age, pero parang, of course, I, I knew. I definitely knew. I think I first met you and Tita Susan uh, during the wake of Papa. And, ah, really? And Santa, Santa, Santa that was, Domingo. That was the first time. And, of course, it was awkward for me, but then I remember sila pa yung nagyaya sa akin to join sumama dun sa van. Yeah, I remember when I first saw Lavi in Santo Domingo. I was really so touched because he was a really young girl, so sweet, so <laughs> so pretty actually. Mm -hmm. so, and you know, she was so quiet. I remember she had the hanky. <laughs> you know, she was yes. kind of awkward. Yeah, the first yeah, time. Diba, new pa eh. <laughs> oh, yeah. mm -hmm. well, memories mo about uh, your dad, about the king? Ako, for me, kasi I didn't get to spend much time with my dad because I was raised in other countries. I feel also regret that she didn't really have that much time mm -hmm. because of the circumstance. Because I'm sure, I mean, seeing you now, he would yeah. have been proud. I mean, Thank you. You're so Thank beautiful, you. you're accomplished. He's such a doting dad and, you know, he, he would have cared mm -hmm. for you even more. Mm -hmm. So, of course, updated kayo sa balita tungkol sa yung dalawa. Alam mo hindi ko kilala pero nakita ko yung litrato very cute. Sabi ko yap date mo ko kung sino yung mga dinner date mo ngayon. Sabi ko magandang age gap nila kasi I think he's two years older. Yes, two years older. So at least he's older. So approve ano? Basa ko ano naman masaya siya eh, di ba? Yun lang naman. Cakay na alagaan siya dapat. Na alagaan ka naman. Yes. So far. <laughs> so, siyempre, I'm sure nanonood si Susan yan, di ba? Minsahe mo naman kay Susan starting at vlogging. I remember before, when I was uh, younger, when my dad passed away, nagkakausap kami for a while through text and through phone, and she has always been um, very nice to me. So, I'm very thankful nga kasi um, I'm very grateful because despite nga na wala na si Papa, ayun, through, through Tita Susan, through Ate Grace, I feel his love. I feel yung pagmamahal ni Papa through them. Moms, thank you for your, thank you for your uh, big heart, actually. That's the only way I can say it. And then another thing is also for your dignity. Because yun ang nagiging example sa akin, how to act in difficult situations. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, thank you a lot. Thank you. It's my hour. Thank you for trusting the startup for uh, this interview.